is a Royal Enfield cylinder head which I've just finished modifying um, to have squish bands in it which greatly help um, the clean running of the engine when uh, you raise the compression ratios and so on um, and you get less likelihood of uh, detonation or pinking and it helps raise the compression ratio itself and if we have a look here although this one's a dirty head it's uh, possible to see that it's just a half round well half spherical bowl perfectly round and that's how they usually are and what I do with them is we send these heads off to the welders um, not too far away he's a very talented guy as well and he fills lots of weld in here and here and then basically it's up to me to put them in the lathe and machine them until they come out looking like this and there's also a bit of um, finishing off with the electric drill and the flap wheel just to sort of round these areas around the valves out a little bit because we don't really want that and that too close to the sides of the inlet valve when it opens there's got to be room for the incoming charge to get past there's a bit of a compromise um, in that if you give too much room around the valve you lose some squish area and if you have too much squish area it'll choke the valves so it's sort of gonna give with one hand and take with the other but usually this sort of shape here almost like a sort of figure of eight with a bubble in the middle of it is what I try and aim for and that one um, should be a good cylinder head and around here somewhere I've got another one which is partly done and that's this one here this one's to match a different piston as a profile them to suit the individual pistons that are going to be used with them uh, so as you can see that squish area is narrower but then this head is going to be used with a piston that's got a much higher dome on it that will fit close all the way to there so each head I do individually to suit whichever piston is likely to be used with and over here I've actually got one that's been to the welders and not machined and it's possible to see basically the areas that are built up with weld you can see all around there and in there and around there and in there and this one is also ready for machining we'll start off by machining it flat around here blend it in with the original face there all flat then I'll make an angle to match whatever piston is going to be in it. The pistons also, uh, the areas of the crowns that meet up with these squish faces will be machined to a corresponding angle to follow that and when you set them at a millimetre clearance at top dead centre and that's when you've got your perfect squish and uh, we, we've uh, done this for a few years now with our race bikes um, a friend of ours um, introduced us to it with his Royal Enfield 250 and we tried it first on our 350 racer then the 500 and uh, it's one of those things people have got to hear about and it's sort of uh, taken off a bit because I've done about three or four of these in the last month so uh, certainly catching on and definitely worthwhile to have as a modification